Dungeon Master 372 here, coming at you with another Let's Play video. Uh, I believe we're on episode 4, and today I plan on covering a little bit on Carpenter's Blocks. As you can see, I've already got the chisel in my hand. Got a few blocks already made. I'm going to cover all those recipes for you and get started with what we are going to be doing today. That's right, so... Between the, the last two episodes, I've done some mining and some farming as well so our, as far as our trees and stuff and getting our, getting our wood collected and gathered up and stuff and everything because so, we're going to need a little bit of wood to, to get started with this because this is one of, the, of my one of my favorites that we've added into the pack, pack this time around and I wanted to kind of get cover that a little bit with you today. So... Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right on it. So, pretty much what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to create some doors and stuff and and everything. But uh, I wanted to do something a little bit more decorative than the regular vanilla Minecraft door. So, what I've done is, you know, we've been waiting for some doors on my place here. So, so it's about time. So... All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna learn how to how to craft with this with this mod is carpenter's blocks, and they're pretty simple. Just eight sticks surrounded by a piece of wood will get you five. And then you know another one that if you really want to get crafty and and everything, you can use the slope blocks. And I'll show you a neat nifty little way with this mod that you can change between the blocks without having to create extras. So as, as you can see over here, there's all kinds of blocks. You got your carpenters, you know, your regular blocks. You, you got carpenters barriers. You got your garage doors. You got your gates. You got your hatch. You got your ladders and buttons and collapsible blocks. Which collapsible blocks are pretty cool. But you know, the ones that uh, the other ones that shows is like the the interior slope, the exterior slope, and the Prism slope and all that stuff could be in this and the wedge prism web red slope. Uh, these all could be got through one special block and everything. You can switch between those, which is the wedge block, which is crafted like this. So it's just three sticks and three of the carpenter's blocks will get you six slope wedges. Once you create these slope wedges. The, the interior slope, the, the oblique, and the prism, and the prism wedge, all all that can be interchanged between each other. So you won't have to worry about those. Another one that I wanted to, another one that you're going to need is the hammer, which is right here. Three iron ingots and two carpenter's blocks will get you a hammer. And the hammer is pretty cool. I'll show you how to use that here in a second. And then along with that, you got your carpenter's chisel, which is just one iron block and one carpenter's block. Well, one iron ingot and one carpenter's block will get you that. So, so yeah. And I'm not going to create those right off. But I will take the carpenter's wedges. Uh... I'll go ahead and take these back because I don't need those because I already got a carpenter's hammer in my inventory. Plus, I got one up here, so I've got plenty. So, I'm going to take all these back and everything. As you can see, I've got other tools and stuff too, but I will cover those in a later episode. So, that's pretty much how you craft those. Uh, one other one is the pressure plate. We're gonna we've already, you've seen that I've already placed some down, but here's how to craft them. Just two carpenter's blocks will get you carpenter's plates. I had to I had to do it that way because me and math, you know, get me to do math for too long is not gonna be is not very good on me. So so I done it this way. So so yeah. But one thing we are gonna need are the carpenter's doors, which is just six. Carpenter's blocks together will get you that. I need a total of 17 to cover up all my entryways in my in my house in my home. 
So I think I'm going to place these on the outside. Now there's a cool thing about these doors. I'll tell you about those here in just a second once I get all this stuff put away. So, so yeah. And this is like one of my favorite mods that we've added in. I, I really like it because it adds more decoration with your stuff and customization with your build and and that's pretty awesome in my opinion so let's see and now let's go upstairs y'all y'all will see my upstairs area that i've added i haven't done really a whole lot with but i've I, I will cover that also in a later episode probably the next episode or so the reason why I haven't covered it yet is mainly because there's a lot of stuff going on uh, behind the scenes, as you all notice. Has some back, some some stuff going on as far as getting the server up for public use. So, so yeah, from now on in my videos, you will see an IP address added to the links in in the, in the description, which you can and put that into my, your Minecraft. After you download our pack as well off the Feed the Beast launcher, and you can log in and join our web our server as well, and join join as I play along. So, so yeah, cool stuff there. So, and that's pretty much that. Now, cool thing about Carpenter's blocks, any Carpenter block that you get in the world. Now, let's see. I want to go into this room here. Ah. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. There we go. That's better. Much more like it. All right. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. Pretty much with carpenter's blocks, whenever you place them down, as you can see, you got you know pretty much plain doors at the moment. Ah, oh, that's where those others go, and I think I'm too short, and I'm a little short on the pressure plates as well. Ah, eh, not to worry. We've got this. Okay, so pretty much another cool nifty little feature of Carpenter's Blocks. Actually, I could show this with the bed, actually. Okay, let me go ahead and start off first by showing you the hammer. The hammer's pretty cool because it can, it can change up the uh, different aspects of these blocks. Say, for instance, these, these pressure plates, if you right-click... You'll notice it's only active for monsters, only active for animals, only activate for all entities, or only active for players. So, if I wanted to, I could make it to where only animals can open this door, walk through it, and that's it. When I left click, I can invert the redstone output. Or I can give it normal redstone output, which is pretty cool. Now, another cool thing is like with the doors, I can right click and it'll change up the material. Now, whenever you see this this stuff, since I'm using Svax, this, this area here is not fully rendered in. It's not, it don't, they don't have an image file for that. They don't have that edited, so so it's just gonna show up like that. But that's gonna that's generally glass. But and I like that setting right there. So most of my doors will be set up like that. Also, another cool feature of all these blocks is any one. If you take a regular block like I've got in my hand right now, and right click, it takes that that material and adds it in and it acts as if that as that material so say for instance if I put obsidian and let's just say 
aghast, throws a fireball at you and it hits. It's not going to break up those pressure plates, in theory. I, I really haven't really tested that, actually, but I think that's the way it works. But it's supposed to take the material... It's supposed to take that material and change it up. Now, also, I believe the chisel does the same thing as the hammer does. Uh, no, actually, it doesn't. I, I can't. I don't remember exactly what the the chisel does. I think it. Do, I think it works on the bed. Oh, on the. It works on the bed block whenever you go to ah I gotta break this up because it's not working okay it does kind of change the outline on the bed a little bit it adds a little bit of a color to it and stuff like that so I mean I can add that kind of a brick texture to it and it makes it look pretty cool and I think that's what I'm going to be doing, is adding – it adds different ones, so – and I think that looks right. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. Now, I don't think I have enough blocks to do all of this, but I got enough on here to do what I'm expecting, you know, just to get y'all the general idea. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to smelt down some more seared brick and get the rest of these doors fashioned the way I like them. Okay, and we're back. Sorry, guys. But now I've got everything ready to go, and it looks like everything is... It's decorated the way we want it. There we go. And... Blam. I think... Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. There we go. All the carpenter stores have been re that's been put in and ready to go. Another cool feature I wanted to kind of cover is this right here, our slope blocks. Uh, as you can see, with what I got, I can place these blocks down as well. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Wait, no. I want to do it that way. Now, I'm doing that. I can place that down. And, and what I'm doing is I'm holding shift down and scrolling to get it to automatically scroll to the different block types that I want. So, right now, I don't, I want it to go. Let's see. Okay. 
see. So back. Slow go up like that. Yeah, awesome. And then we do that. this yeah, and ah it would have to make me go and craft one more block Let's see I can go in here craft it wait no not in there ah right here just do slope block and do that right there of course that's going to require me to add some more decorative blocks but nonetheless I like the way that looks <coughs> and you can do this with you know all your doorways if you want or you can you know experiment there's all kinds of different things you can do with carpenters blocks you can do totally rounded structures if you wanted to so, so take take a look at that and experiment with that. I hope you liked what you what you saw today, and I hope it helped you out a lot. Please feel free to check out the links in the description below. Check out our website. You can join by entering in the IP address into your server address section whenever you go to add a new server on your the client. And download our mod pack too. The pack code will be in the description below as well. And please leave a lot comment. And if you like my video, please click like and subscribe, please. That would help me out a lot. Also, check out our website, which uh, the link is in the description below as well. Check out our website, register with us, so that way you can you could join our server and and everything. There's a lot more features if you join the website as well as logging into our server. Mainly because if you have in-game requests or whatever, you can communicate that through the website as well, not just in chat as well. So, so yeah. So, again, I can't wait to have you guys join me on my server, and and I hope that y'all are liking my videos so far. And please, you know, give me some feedback. I always appreciate it. And. I hope that you all are also having a very good one. Dunge out.